Hi there, welcome to vlog three. I'm Jo North. I'm here at the beautiful Swinstee and Fuston Reservoirs in North Yorkshire. It is a gorgeous day, absolutely beautiful. And spring makes me feel like um, there's so much potential. It's so re-energizing, isn't it, this time of year? And I'm feeling re-energized about business and I want to really leverage that energy and think about what it is I want to achieve throughout the rest of 2019, things I want to change, things I want to build, things I want to tweak and get some real clarity, purpose and action behind my business plans for the rest of this year. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Come and join me on the vlog and I'll give you some tips and techniques that you can use to think about what you'd like to do for the rest of the year too. The first thing I'm going to do is to get out from where I normally work, just get a fresh environment, a fresh perspective. I'm gonna find somewhere where I can have a cup of tea and some brunch, because it's sort of early morning, and then I'm gonna get started with really thinking about what I want. I've had a walk since I last spoke to you at the reservoirs and I've now driven a little way up the road to a beautiful place called Greenhow in Yorkshire and I'm here at an amazing cafe, it's got the most stunning views. I didn't talk to you while I was on the walk because of the wind noise, uh, so I've come inside, there's a bit of a buzz in the cafe which I like, but I think if you are thinking about resetting your clarity, your purpose and vision for your business, it's so important to get outside, um, get some fresh air, go somewhere different, go for a walk. We know um, from all sorts of studies that walking genuinely clears the brain, walking genuinely um, helps with your creativity and it's also really good to be in a bit more of a relaxed and refreshed state when you start to think about these things. So I've got my orange juice, I have my um, pot of green tea and I'm looking forward to uh, really planning out what it is I'm going to be doing going forward for the rest of 2019. One of the questions I've been asking myself is, wouldn't it be fantastic if? It's a really good question to think about because by saying, wouldn't it be fantastic if, you are opening your mind up to possibilities. You are thinking about what it is you want to achieve and you're giving your brain permission to go and think you know beyond what you're doing today so it's a really good technique so I thought about wouldn't it be fantastic if I wrote down some of my thoughts and really one of the key things that, that jumped out at me it was uh, wouldn't it be fantastic if I could share the resources that I use in my um, management consulting to grow business in my coaching practice with entrepreneurs and business leaders um, with uh, the executive development programs that I run. Uh, wouldn't it be fantastic if more people had access to those? Wouldn't it be fantastic if I could create some space where everybody could, uh, for you know, a really accessible amount of money, get those things and use them at the time that, speak, that, that best suits them? I also thought it would be fantastic if people could have access to me on tap whenever they need it. So if they've got a, a challenge or a great opportunity or a difficult situation or whatever it is, they can pick up the phone or drop me an email and I'll be on hand to help them um, troubleshoot or make the most of the, the opportunity that's at hand. And I really wanted people as well to have the opportunity just to have some sessions with me as and when they needed them. So I do a lot of ongoing coaching programs, executive development, and I do big strategic projects with businesses large and small to help them grow. But sometimes actually, um, you know, that's, that's the big ticket items that I provide. They come at a higher cost. And I think, well, there's, there, there are a lot of people out there um, who want something that's more affordable and accessible that suits them as and when. And my final thought was, wouldn't it be fantastic if I had an idea time membership platform where people could get access to all my resources um, for a really affordable price and access to me. Now, when you've done your wouldn't it be fantastic if list, 
the next thing to do is to consolidate that and select what is the number one priority, the number one thing that's going to make the biggest difference to your business because I really believe um, and have evidence to support it that actually uh, focusing on one thing is better than trying to do loads of things all at once especially when you're already busy with your other business activities and priorities. And when you've got that thing, step back and say, well, who is my ideal customer? And create an avatar for that ideal customer. So what an avatar is, it's really another word for a persona. And all you're doing is you're setting out who is uh, who your ideal customer is. You're setting out um, who they are, where they live, um, how old they are, the sorts of things they're interested in. And I do this for real people. So I think about real people that I work with, the people who really benefit from the products and services that I offer. And don't just think about those things. Those things are really important when it comes to thinking about your advertising and marketing and how you're going to target them and where you're going to find those people. That's why those dimensions are so important. But also think about, well, what are their aspirations and what are their pain points? Think about the sorts of questions that your customers ask you um, and you know the things that they ask for help with. That's really essential in terms of building your new proposition or developments or further um, product or service iterations around the things that are going to help your customers the most. And that will really make sure that whatever you do next in your business is a success because it has your customers at the very heart of it. Now, those things on my wouldn't it be fantastic if list weren't all completely new. There were things that had been bubbling around in my mind and that uh, really came to um, crystallise themselves when I got them out on paper. So I've been wanting to do these things a bit at the back of my mind. So the next part is actually really important because it's about unblocking. The next question that I've asked myself and I suggest you ask yourself too is what's stopping me? What's stopping me is a really important question and, and do write down the answers to this. Don't just try and work it out all in here. Do what I've done, which is write down the answers to these questions. By asking yourself what's stopping you, you can then create a solution for each of those things that is realistic and practical for you to overcome. So for instance, I asked, you know, what's stopping me? Why haven't I launched the membership concept before now? What's been getting in the way? The reality of what's been getting in the way is, I guess the number one thing is time. So I have a busy full-time uh, job, I guess, as a management consultant, executive coach, and um, conference speaker and facilitator. I go all over the place, I travel, um, I'm preparing things, I'm working with people all the time, and I absolutely love it. But it, it's time consuming, so time has been my number one challenge. So therefore, to overcome that, and I'm not gonna get any less busy because my, my diary is booked up for months to come. So therefore, what I've done is I've written a list of tasks, things, jobs that I need to do to get me from where I am to having a launch of a successful membership site. Now, what's important about how I've created that list is I've divided tasks into things I can do in 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, things that I can do in half an hour, things that take an hour and things that I need half a day or a day for. Because having that list handy any, all the time means that if I'm sitting in an airport lounge or on a train or I've got a bit of time, you know, somebody's running late and I've got some time while I'm waiting, then I can get that list out and I can get something done. The important thing is not to carve out huge chunks of time necessarily if you're busy, but to have that ongoing momentum where you're making progress towards those aspirations every day. And having that list means you can always get that list out and do something and that works really really well for me and I know it works well for my clients as well. The other thing that's stopping me is actually I don't know how to do some of these things that you know that are involved in setting up a membership. I don't know how to code, I don't know how to plug um, a, a membership um, a bit of kit into my core uh, website. I've got an overall understanding of that, you know, working awareness of that, but I don't feel confident enough to do that myself. 
I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not um, a video editor, you know, and I can learn those things. I'm capable of learning those things, but actually, is it the best use of my time? No. Do I enjoy it? No. So therefore, find a dream team of virtual experts who can really help you achieve your goal if you need help. Now, either learn how to do the stuff yourself and make a plan to learn that if it's valuable to you and if you want to learn it and if not find people who can help you and I've got an amazing team I've got Will who's doing the uh, techie stuff and the development Ruby on graphic design I've got Gareth hi Gareth who's an amazing video editor um, and I've got some good photography coming from Mark and Jim um, as, as well amongst other people who are helping me and also I've got amazing people in my wider business network who I've met who can help me with uh, content content creation um, in terms of having you know maybe guest uh, webinars uh, guest articles and uh, using some of their um, input as well so that the membership isn't just about me I'm bringing in the best of the, of the business network that I have and if you missed it watch bl um, vlog number two which is how to build um, a, a a good business network how to do business network in a way that really works for you and your business so I hope those tips are useful so this spring if you're thinking of giving your business a boost if you're thinking of starting a new growth curve for your company then here are the steps take some time out go for a walk clear your head Go somewhere different and get out of the office, preferably outside. Treat yourself, have a cup of tea somewhere really nice. Get your journal out. Write down all the things that you want to do using the wouldn't it be fantastic if technique and then focus on the thing that's going to make the number one biggest difference to you and your business. When you've done that, think about your ideal customer avatar and how you can really provide some great service and value to your customers then think about what's stopping you what's getting in the way of you doing that and find some pragmatic realistic doable solutions for you and the next step of course is to crack on and get it implemented so I would absolutely love to hear about what your goals are for the rest of this year I'd really love to hear about how you're getting on with those some of the things you, that have been stopping you and your plans to overcome them and you know just tell me all about it I'd love to hear from you so either email me at joe at ideatime.co.uk or leave a comment down here I promise I will answer all the comments and all the emails I receive and good luck have an amazing spring and I will be back soon with vlog number four